many organizations that use Cloudinary have thousands, if not millions, of digital assets stored in their system. However, certain users on the account may not need to access all the images, videos, and raw files. Because of this, Cloudinary offers the ability to add a layer of security to your folders, allowing access to only those who have the proper permissions to do so. To allow permissions for specific folders in your Cloudinary account, you must have a service plan that allows for multiple users, such as our advanced plan. We also recommend developing the folders and associated assets you intend to share before you actually share them with user group members. To create a folder, log in to your Cloudinary Management Console. Then go to your console's media library. You should see an arrow that is pointing down, which is next to the home folder. Clicking it will display the add folder option. Select that option from the list. A pop-up window labeled add folder will appear with a text field. Enter your desired folder name into the field, then click the save button. You will now be able to find the folder in the list of your account's other folders. If you need to create a subfolder of an existing folder, simply select the top level folder and then select its add folder icon, which is a gray folder with a plus sign on it. Then follow the steps outlined earlier to name your new folder. Now you are ready to take the next step in applying folder permissions, which is creating a user group. This will allow you to assign specific users to the group and then eventually apply permissions to all of its members. Here's how to do it. First, make sure you are in your Cloudinary Management Console, then select the Settings button, which is a gear-shaped icon. From here, click on the Users tab. Then, scroll down the page until you reach the User Groups section. From there, click on the Add New User Group link. Enter your preferred group name, then click the Save button. Your newly created user group will now appear in the Users tab under the User Groups section. If you want to make adjustments to the group name, select its associated Edit link. Now that you have created a user group, you can apply permissions for a folder. First, go to the Media Library tab, then click on the More icon for your desired folder. Then click on the Share option. A pop-up window labeled Share Folder will open. In it, click the Select Groups field. A list of all the available user groups will display. Click on the desired user group. Select the permission level for the selected user group from a drop-down list. There are four options, can view, can contribute, can edit, and can manage. And finally, click the Windows Save button. At this point, your assigned user group will have the set permissions for your chosen folder. Now that you have created your user group and properly shared a folder with it, any users with the Media Library user role can be added to that group. Here's all you have to do. First, go to your Users tab in your console settings. Next, scroll down to the user section of the page. Then select the name of the user you want to place in the group. If you still need to add a user to your account, select the Add New User link at the bottom of the list. Then follow the preceding steps. Once you have selected a new user or an existing user, scroll down on the user's detail page and verify that they have been assigned the Media Library user role. If so, a series of checkboxes will appear below the list of roles with the names of all of the existing user groups. Select your desired user group for the user, then click the Save button. It is important to assign your user to at least one group. Otherwise, the user will not see any content inside of your media library. You will now see the number of users field increase. This means all of the associated users in the group will now have access to the shared folders. 
We encourage you to send us a support request for any specific use cases you encounter that you feel have not been addressed in this tutorial. Thank you for using Cloudinary. We're excited to see how you use this feature.